Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is actually a super quick haul from Lidl. I didn't even really know that Lidl did craft supplies, but um, a friend of mine on Instagram who is Northern Planner Ma'am, I think I'm saying that right, she showed on her stories these bits from Lidl, like autumn and Halloween themed, and I just had to have them. They are incredible. So I showed them to her sister and she surprised me by buying me them. So I thought I'd pop on here and show them to you in case you're interested and you want to get your hands on them. So I'll start off with this one, the tape that you can get. These are all 2 dollars for each set, if that makes sense. So the tape is 2 dollars the sticker set is 2 dollars the papers, etc, etc. So I thought these were really sweet. I'll open them up and show you so you get four in here which isn't bad for 2 dollars at all one out of the way and they're just such pretty designs so you've got the little squirrel there then you've got the like gold sprinkles um gold foil hearts and then this sort of copper zigzag that's just gorgeous for autumn isn't it you can make such pretty projects with those. So that's those. Then she picked me up actually two sets of these, which I'm really grateful for because these are perfect to share in Happy Mail and things like that. So you get the Scarecrow one and then you get the Foxes, the Halloween, um, Christmas, deers and stags, that sort of thing. All different Christmas animals down here. And then Merry Christmas, sort of circles, wreaths, that's what I'm looking for, up there. So she got me two of those, which is brilliant. So I'll be sharing those out in mail very soon. And then the bit that I was most excited about was the card. I know um, you can buy it, you know, from the craft stores, things like that, but it does work out quite pricey to keep buying the paper pads. So when I saw this on Northern Planner Mams, Instagram I just had to have it um, I'll show you it there's 20 yeah 20 sheets that are 20 by 34 centimeters and that one says five times hmm oh it's different uh, card weights this one is 250 GSM and this one's 245 GSM so I'll show you the back because it's got like a really tiny picture of all the different cards and then at the end I'll come back and go through them more properly because I know not everybody wants to sit through looking at every single sheet so and then finally she picked me up the autumn craft set this one as it shows you down here it's just got all different things in it it's mostly card but I think there's some um, like tissue paper and some smaller papers so I'll go through those two now and show you each one individually we'll start off with a pattern card so this one is like a pearlescent card i don't know if that's going to pick up on camera but it's a really pretty color for autumn this one is pearlescent again and it's sort of got like a gold sheen to the pearl hopefully that makes sense even more pearlescent card Oh, and again, this really like dark burgundy colour. That's gorgeous. And then a white one. Or ivory, would you call that ivory? Not sure. Oh, I've got these the wrong way up. Excuse me. Then you've got these really sweet little woodland characters. And a little fox in the corner. This one, which is just sort of leaves and berries. This is my absolute favourite pattern. How sweet are those little umbrellas with the raindrops. This orangey coloured one. These Christmassy characters, would you say? Yeah, I'd say they're more Christmassy. They've got the hats and the presents. Autumn stripe. Autumn coloured feathers. Christmas holly berries and twigs, that sort of thing. The only thing I will say about these um, is that they're not double sided and I know for the 2 dollars you can't really complain but it would have been nice to have a few in there that were. This is just leaves, green polka dot, swift is that what you call those? 
another autumny pattern. Blue snowflakes. Yeah. Look at those mushrooms, they're really sweet. A sort of, I think that's a leaf type print. Blue arrows. And then like a cut apart sheet. So these are all different tags. They're really sweet to cut and put into projects and things. They're lovely. And then finally, this wood grain one. So that is the card. That's the card pack. So I'll put that out of the way and I'll show you the autumn craft set next. Right, so first off in this little pack, I think they're not big enough to be six by six. How big are these? So these don't look quite big enough to be six by six. So that's a six by six paper pad. Can I say they're four, four by something? I don't really know, but you can see it there, how much smaller it is than the six by six. So for these, half of them are this sort of leaf pattern, and then the other half is these autumn leaves and acorns. This pattern is just gorgeous. Absolutely love that. So I'll mind those out of the way. Then you get some A4 sheets. So this one has actually got glitter on it. Hopefully you can see that. Some of the polka dots are glittered. Then this leaf one is glittered as well. That's lovely, isn't it, for autumn? Then this squirrel one, oh they're really sweet. And then again they've got some glittery spots on them. Glittered owls and trees. And this is, it looks like border strips but I guess you can use it as a whole piece of paper, there's nothing, nothing stopping you. And then we're back to the bigger sheets. These, I think they're a bit smaller than the craft, not the smaller sorry, bigger. Yeah, they are. They're a bit bigger than the craft paper pad, so they're definitely bigger than A4, but I don't know the exact size, sorry. Start off with this one, which is these sort of leaves and flowers, and then it's got this gorgeous pattern in the middle with the pumpkin. That's really lovely. Then more cut aparts. I would definitely cut those apart, but I mean, you don't have to. You can use that as a whole sheet. And these, I think they would make gorgeous die cuts if you fussy cut round them all. I think that's definitely what I'll do. Oh, look at this fire. Don't know if you can see that. That's just lovely. So you've got more mushrooms. Then these are plain cardstock, I think. Oh, it's not really card, it's quite thin. Mm. Paper, it's thicker than paper, but it's thinner than cardstock. I don't really know what that is. So you've got the brown, the orange, the yellow one, cream, would you say? Like a tealy blue, a red, a brown, like a dark brown, and then a burgundy colour. Oh no, the burgundy is quite thick. But right, I'll do these ones first. So there's those ones that are sort of paper rather than card. Sorry, excuse my phone there. So that's the papery ones. And then these feel a lot thicker. So I'm presuming this is better cardstock. Who knows? Um, a burgundy colour, an orange, a white, a bright green, dark green, brown. That's it for the card. I do quite like having some plain cardstock because when you're like paper piecing and things like that, I do find that you need the plain colours to sort of balance out the patterns, so that will come in handy. Then these are like wax paper, that's what they feel like. It's sort of see-through like tissue paper, but it, it feels thicker than that. It's like waxy, it's definitely like greaseproof or baking paper, whatever you call it. Um, so there's the claret colour again, or burgundy. There's yellow, like a lime green, I'd say, a darker green, a white, dark blue, an orangey colour, purple, and a gorgeous sort of pinky purple colour. Then you get corrugated cardboard, 
that would be fun to make something out of. And then you actually get instructions. And these are to show you how to make the little pumpkin on the front. Let me see if I can find it. it seems to have eluded me. So it shows you how to make the little pumpkin on there. And it looks like it actually shows you how to make some other projects as well. That's upside down, not helpful. Yeah, it looks like it shows you how to make all different projects. So that's quite handy. If you're stuck for inspiration, you could definitely give that a read and try some of those out. Then you get a red piece of the corrugated cardboard. And more instructions. I think this is, yeah, this is the piece I was looking for, typical. So um, it shows you how to make these projects, the little booklet that I just showed you. And that is everything in that one. So I hope you've enjoyed this little haul and that I've tempted you to run out and buy some of these bits because they really are gorgeous and I've got no idea how long they'll be in Lidl for, I'm really sorry. But um, they're definitely worth it for the 2 99 so if you do get them, make sure to tag me in your pictures. I'd love to see what bits you buy and what bits you like out of the collections. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when I post more crafty videos. And like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.